So we got news about what we can expect from the new Samsung televisions coming out pretty soon, as in the next couple of weeks here. So the affordable QLED series this year is going to start at the Q60A. The Q60A is going to start at $749, or rather $747.99, and it's going to launch on March 14th. The same with all of their regular QLED lines. And what's really cool about this is if you were looking to buy something that's not a Neo, you can do it relatively soon. You don't have to wait and wait and wait. And that's really, really good because I know a lot of people get a little demotivated when they see only the most expensive TVs are for sale there. And now from a design perspective, it looks a lot like the Sony X800. It doesn't really look very nice from an innovative perspective. And the same can be said about their regular QLED TVs. They just look like older TVs from 2013. Like I'm talking the FH6030. Like it looks really old. That said, the Q80A is going to have a full array panel. So it's not going to be like the Q60A. The Q60A is going to have dual LED. And so will the Q70A. That's also going to have the uh, dual LED. It's not going to be full array. What I like about the uh, Q70A though is it looks a lot like my Sony X900E. So, you know, they're ripping off Sony's design for sure with that, but I kind of like it, obviously, because I like the design of my 900E, so I wish they would have did that for their more expensive model and not their entry-level model, but okay, Samsung, way to be weird. But that's also going to be dual LED, as I was saying earlier, but you can pick it up on March 14th for $947. That's not that bad. So you do have some options that are more affordable that aren't just the $1,500 price range. Now, obviously, starting with the Q6 series or Q60 series and then going all the way up looking at these price points. And then, of course, you have the frame TV. So that's pretty much where it stops. I mean, most people don't really buy the frame. I don't know a whole lot about the frame versus all these other TVs, obviously, because they're not out yet. But two dual LED TVs, which I imagine would be just an edgelet TV like there were last time. And then you have one full array this year. So it seems so far, and then the rest are mini LED. So hopefully this information finds you guys well. I want to hear your thoughts on it. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments down below.